Hello everyone and in this video I wanted to show you a very intuitive, easy to learn yet quite powerful editing software. So if you are beginning to edit your videos, maybe you are a hobbyist or a vlogger, this software can be something for you. So the software that I'm going to talk in this video is called VideoProc Vlogger by the GRT company. And the best part about it is that this software comes for free, so there are no extra charges or features that are hidden behind a paywall. You basically have unlimited access to all of its features. And VideoProc Vlogger works on Windows and Mac. Okay, so without further ado, let me quickly open VideoProc Vlogger and let me show you exactly what I did to get the same effect on my intro. All right, I just opened the software and we are welcomed with creating a new project. So I'm gonna give it a name like uh, My Travel. And now I, I have to select a video resolution. So I can st stick to uh, 1080p or 4K in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you want to select something for Instagram, you can choose a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. But I'm gonna stick with 1080p. Then I have to choose uh, which frame rates I'm interested in. So I'll just select 30 frames per second and I'll click new project. Okay, so <laughs> as I said, this is how the VideoProc Vlogger looks like. Um, and we have uh, basically uh, a timeline at the very bottom, our preview window somewhere in the middle and our media page uh, in here with some uh, transitions, titles and effects. So as I said, there are not that many options to, to be overwhelmed by it. Okay, so uh, what we have to do first is to upload our uh, videos and music. So do you see that big plus icon over here? Let's click on that. Now, let me quickly find uh, my videos. That's gonna be somewhere around here, these three files. Okay, they are already ready. And now I'm gonna scroll down to add some music. So I'm gonna click on add music. Okay, let me quickly find it. It's gonna be a bit always rising, I believe. Okay, so we have just added our video files and music, and now we have to add it to our timeline. So I'm gonna click and drag it with my left mouse button and simply drop it on the timeline. As you see, my video file is already on the timeline. Now I will click on the fit size it's so it's simply a bit larger, so I have a bit more precision over what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna play the video with a space button. Go, go, go! In I'll mute just the audio track, uh, so it's uh, not gonna be interfering with the, what I'm saying. Okay, so let's say that my wife is starting to walk somewhere around this area. So now I'm gonna click on the timeline and I'm gonna click on split icon. This way, that portion of the video is being cut away. So now I'm gonna click on that and hit delete button on my keyboard. Okay, I'll move the video a little bit forward to see where I need to make another cut. Let's say maybe something, something around here, something around this area. And I'm gonna make another cut in here and split. As you see, the rest part of the video is being automatically selected. I'll hit delete button. Okay, so this is basically um, gonna be my first clip. Now, uh, let me quickly show it to you how it looks like. Okay, that's not bad, but I think we can do something about it. So I'm gonna minimize it. And well, what can we do? Hmm. Uh, let's say that we can do we can add some slow motion. Do you see that speed icon over here? Let's click on that. So yeah, we have quite a bit of options to choose from because we have quite a bit of presets already available, but uh, what I wanna do is create a 50% slow motion. So I'm gonna go with a constant. Now, uh, notice that we have uh, half, one fourth, and uh, one eighth. 
so I'm gonna go with a 50% slow motion. Let's play it and see how it looks like. Okay, that's not bad. Let's cl click on apply. Okay, but I think there is something more that we can do to this video. I think if we go to crop, we can change our aspect ratio. So for example, if I want to make this video look a bit cinematic, this is how it's gonna look like. Okay, I can always adjust it if I want. Oh, let's say like that. Let's see how it's gonna look like in the end. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay. I'm happy with that, but what if I wanted to upload it, for example, to Instagram? Then I can choose 9 by 16 aspect ratio and adjust it accordingly. Okay, I'm gonna hit apply. Now, I'm gonna add some music to this file. Let's say from here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna enlarge our my timeline just a bit because the music file is a much longer file. I'm gonna hit somewhere around here because I already have listened to that uh, video file uh, in advance so I know which part of the, uh, the music I need to choose. Okay. I'll click on uh, fit size. And let's see how it looks like. So I'm gonna enlarge and play it. And I almost forgot completely about it. Um, if you take a closer look at this video, notice that the edges are a little bit distorted because it was shot with a, a wide uh, field of view on a GoPro camera. So if we go on the right side and slide it down, notice that we have lens distortion correction. So if we click on that, with just one click of a button, the edges in the corners are gonna be uh, fixed. Obviously, we can select which camera we are using. So, for example, in this one, I was using GoPro Hero 9 and I was using wide field of view. We can also adjust it for super view, linear, narrow, and of course, wide. Yeah, I'm gonna select wide. And if for some reason we are not happy with the results, we can fine tune it ourselves. Obviously, if you go too crazy on that, it's uh, not gonna look good, but the default setting was really nice. Um, okay, uh, now let me introduce you a second clip. And in this clip, I wanted to focus more a bit on slow motion aspect, what you can actually do in the software. So I'm gonna make a quick cut when uh, the guy is starting to, uh, to run. I'm gonna select it and click on split icon once again. I'm gonna select a uh, part where he stops running somewhere around here and I'm gonna click on split icon once again now I'm gonna select these two clips that I don't want to include in my uh, timeline so I'm gonna hit on delete okay now please notice that um, I'm gonna enlarge it a bit now please notice that uh, the first video file and the second video file are highlighted with different colors this way we simply know the difference uh, where is each and every single uh, individual clip. Okay, let's come back to this one. And let's hit on speed once again. So as I said, there are quite a lot of options to choose from. And in this particular case, I'm gonna go with Showtime. Yes, and uh, I'm gonna adjust each and every individual keyframe. So it's simply gonna look good for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna uh, adjust something that is gonna look like a speed ramp. I'll see, something like that maybe. It's gonna be a very brief, very quick uh, section because I don't have <laughs> all day to uh, fine tune it. Maybe something like that, okay. Let's see.
Okay, I feel like I can move it a bit closer. Uh huh. Okay, let's see once again. So yeah, um, obviously it's not perfect because I have to spend a little bit more time on it. But uh, as I said, this is what you can do. Just play with these presets or even you can customize your own, make from scratch. Uh, it's really super easy to do slow motion with this software. Okay, so I'm going to get out of it. And I'm not gonna hit any, any changes. Now I'm going to show you the third video that I prepared. I'm gonna click and drag it to my timeline. I'm gonna quickly make a nice selection uh, and see where I need to make a slow motion effect. Okay, maybe something around here. Control B. I delete that part which I don't want. Okay, I don't want her to turn around. Again, Control B. Now, let me quickly introduce you with a motion page. So let's click on that. And let's say I want to create some effect. For example, I want to have a cinematic opening to my video. So I'm gonna click on that. And let me show you how it looks like. That's really nice, don't you think? Yeah, and for example, I don't like it. I can click always on reset or I can make some changes where um, the individual keyframe gonna happen at what point. Okay, so I'm gonna click on reset and I'll show you maybe, uh, let's say maybe this one. As I said, these are very easy to use um, and uh, I, I think you should try all of them. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna make uh, any, um, any motion effects just yet. So I'm gonna get out of this window. I'm not gonna save anything. And I will go right now to color page. And as you see, this video is quite uh, washed out. It needs uh, to be a little bit color corrected. So we are currently in a color and filter editor. So if you take a closer look on the right side, we have, um, a, we have these tools to adjust our white balance, exposure, contrast, saturation. We can even play with individual like highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. If we scroll down, we have sharpening tool. We can even play with individual colors and increase uh, the saturation, luminance, or <laughs> we can even add a little bit of vignette effect and uh, play with the sign, size and maybe roundness. It's a very similar tool on like what we have in uh, Adobe Lightroom from what I remember. Now, if you take a closer look on the left side of this uh, color page, we have uh, already mm, pre-designed uh, LUTs that you can choose if you don't want to edit your videos yourself. So you can play with those if you want. Although I think that uh, I always prefer to actually edit uh, my videos myself. You can always play with uh, individual LUT if you want to decide how strong the LUT has to be. Maybe you want just a little bit, uh, just just a little bit of the LUT, or maybe you want to go full crazy on that. It's up to you. If you don't like the LUTs, you can always go to none and edit the video yourself. And that's what I'm going to show you right now quickly. So let's say that I want to make the, the exposure a bit uh, brighter. I want to increase the contrast of the video. Maybe I'll lower down on that exposure. Maybe I'll increase the highlights. I'll add a little bit of saturation. I'll go lower with the contrast. 
Okay, uh, now how about if I play with shadows? Okay, I'll increase the shadows so it's a bit brighter. And now we're gonna reduce, I'm gonna make the darker parts a bit darker. It's very similar to what we have in Lightroom, so I uh, quickly found out <laughs> that it's uh, so, so much easy to use for me. Now let's go to sharpening tool. Obviously, uh, by default, it's uh, way too sharp, but uh, we have to play with it to see um, when it's simply it's not gonna look good anymore. So let's say some, somewhere around maybe here. Yeah. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna uh, close that window. I'm gonna save it. And uh, this is how it's look like. <laughs> Let me quickly just add uh, a cinematic effect to this, this one gonna add once again quickly slow motion let me just uh, play it once again where is that video oh. So yeah, this is how Video Pro Vlogger looks like. Obviously, I haven't shown you all of its features because I'm still learning it. So what do you think about it? Is this something for you that you can use to edit your videos? Let me know about it in the comment section below. Now, to celebrate the release of their new software, DJRT Company has launched a contest in which you can win a GoPro Hero 10 Black. All you have to do is simply download their software from their website, make a nice video with it using their tools, and then simply upload it to YouTube. Please don't forget to include these two hashtags under your video and make sure that your video is at least 30 seconds long. Also, make sure that you upload your video before 31st of October. Once you've done that, you have to go to their website and share the link to your video and your email address to them so they can simply contact you. Anyway guys, so for today's video, I think that's gonna be that's it. I really enjoyed making this video because I feel like uh, there are a lot of people out there who are struggling to make their editing videos. Uh, they would like to share their family moments or moments from their trips. And honestly, uh, there are software out there uh, which have a very uh, steep learning curve and they are not easy to learn. And I truly think that video pro vlogger can be something for you. Anyway guys, once again, thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one, bye.